What's up guys, we're back with another epic 2003 tin opening. We're opening up this 2003 Buster Blader tin for Luna C. So this is going to be pretty awesome. This is a sweet Yugi tin, so you just got to love it. Buster Blader, Yugi. Hopefully we can get at least like a decent promo. I mean, the front at least looks good. That's what we're hoping for. We're also doing the giveaway. The giveaway for this video, I'll be giving away these three cards. We have a PSV mirror wall. Magical hats and then an LOD Hinokage Suchi. So all you got to do is like the video be subscribed and Let me know your favorite 10 from 2003 also speaking of tens I'll be opening up all six 2005 tens that includes the dark magician girl 10 when we hit 60,000 subscribers We're getting pretty close. We're over 58,000 now So go ahead and subscribe if you're not a lot of you guys are watching but not subscribe So go ahead and subscribe so we can get to that and let's go ahead and open this up for Luna Hopefully we can get something epic All right Buster Blader, here we go. And maybe we can put, last time we opened up some pretty good stuff. We got two foils out of the last 10, which is super lucky to be honest. Usually you only get zero, you get one, you know, something like that. And then not only that, we didn't just get super rares, we also got an ultra rare. So here we go, check that one out if you didn't see it. Let's see what we can get. Oh, the back looks better than last time, that's for sure, it's not perfect. Let's uh, go ahead and Put this tin back together. All right, the back of this Buster Blader is definitely not perfect. I mean, there's scuffing on there, but one of the better ones from 2003 I've seen, like, what we call it light play because it does have some pretty severe scuffing right there. But honestly, the card looks pretty good on the back. The front, the secret rare looks incredible. I mean, that's awesome. Centering's not too good, but who cares? When it's when it's not like mint condition, the centering, who cares about it? It only matters if you're going for a PSA 10, pretty much, or, or maybe even a 9, but that is pretty awesome. We got ourselves a Buster Blader Secret Rare. That looks really good. Okay, so we got a nice promo. Now we have five awesome packs to open. Hopefully we can pull something awesome for Luna. Um, I meant to put those backwards. We did the wrong way. But here we go. We're always starting with Labyrinth of Nightmare. We can't start with LLB. It just doesn't feel right. Labyrinth of Nightmare. Last time, I think we pulled out of... I'm trying to think. We pulled two foils. One was from LOB and one was from... What was the Super Rare? I can't remember what the Super Rare was. Here we go. Let's pull something good. Maybe we can pull a Magic Cylinder. We've got a Grand Tiki Elder. Cure Mermaid. Ick boyo Drakmord. <laughs> you gotta pay for that fairy box. And... Mask of Dispel, right off the bat, we have a super rare. Mask of Dispel, that is what I'm talking about. We already have a super rare card. Let's check the centering. The centering on it is not the worst, but it's definitely not great. Yeah, so it's close. So maybe you could grade it. Um, you definitely, if you can get a PSA 10 on older, even unlimited cards, I would say you should grade them. The problem is you have to wait a very long time at this point. So you have to weigh that if you want to potentially increase the value. The best for the value is grading, but you do have to wait a long time, especially if you send in a lower value card, you don't want to send it at a high service level, it's too expensive, and so you gotta wait a long time. So that's just kind of the trade-off, but a pretty nice pull to start. Next we have a Pharaoh Servant Pack. I don't even know if you can pull Jinzo, because it's from a 10, I don't know. I still don't know if you can pull Hobby Secrets out of 10s or not, but if you can, that would be crazy. All right, here we go. Pharaoh Servant, we have Overdrive. Solemn Wishes. Wing Weaver. Armor Glass. Whew, here we go. Oh, a Chain Destruction Ultra Rare. Okay, not the best Ultra Rare, but an Ultra Rare. Like, two for two right now. This is nuts. Two for two on a 10. I already said, wow, last time we got a Super and an Ultra. We already have a Super and an Ultra this time. So this is a good start to these uh, these tins we've opened. Reign of Mercy, Tattoo of Magic Crusher, Twin Headed Fire Dragon, and Invitation to a Dark Sleep. Wow. That's pretty awesome. We have two foils in two packs. Three more packs. We have Magic Ruler. And yes, 2003, it is going to say Spell on the inside and MRL. That's just how it works with 2003 Magic Ruler packs. It is not an error. Happens in all the tin packs. Here we go, Metal Fish. We've got Eternal Rest. Darth Maul? No, I'm just kidding. Horn of Light. 
Sonic Bird, and can we pull another foil? Oh, we broke the streak. Flying Kamakiri, so no foil this time. But that would have been pretty crazy if we'd started off three for three, but that's okay. It's just Magic Ruler. Not that exciting. No, I'm just kidding. Magic Ruler is pretty good, but definitely would prefer MRD, would prefer LOB over Magic Ruler. Personally, I don't know about you guys, but you guys can let me know. Do you guys prefer LOB, MRD, or, or MRL? Which one do you guys prefer? Okay, Metal Raiders. We have a fat pack. Yes, the body shaming has continued. It's so bad. It's a tragedy. I can't believe I've done such a terrible thing. Let's see if we can pull something good. Oh my goodness. That is a really strange pack. We have Ancient Brain. Just look at that guy. I never even noticed he had a beard. I don't know how I didn't notice that. Yeah, I, I totally thought that was it. Okay, I don't know what I was looking at. Tongyo. The Swamp Battle Guard. That centering is absolutely terrible. Tremendous fire. So like what it like tell me what is going on here? Like why are they in a fire? I don't get it. And who are these people? They got long hair, they got like they're just dancing around. It's really creepy. And a witch's apprentice, just a rare pump king, the king of ghosts. We could still get the Pecanio Moth. Legendary Pecanio Moth. Here we go. Guilty of the D9. Electric Lizard. Oh, damn. Okay. We did get a pump king. That's pretty nice. So four packs down. We have one pack remaining. One more chance to pull another foil. So far we've already pulled two foils, so it's gone pretty well. And the promo was actually not destroyed, so that's nice. Blue Eyes White Dragon. LOB, not a fat pack. This one's been slimming down. It's been on a diet. Here we go. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Can we pull it? Bum, 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 bum. All right, tie on. Enchanting Mermaid, here we go. I can hear the theme music, I can hear it. Hey, wait, yeah, that's because I was just singing it. I'm just kidding. Man Eater, here we go. <sighs> Cue the music. Bum, 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 bum. Left leg of the Forbidden One. We are two for two on Exodia pieces. We've opened two LOV packs from these tins. And we pulled two Exodia limbs. Left leg of the Forbidden One, and naturally it's way off centered. But that is awesome. Three foils and one tin. Wow, we got a Fire Grass, Dark World Thorns, Red Medicine, and Karama. So, yes, the theme music made it happen. We called in the music, and the music created a foil pull. So, let's see what we got here. So, for Lunacy, Lunacy pulled three foils and five packs. Insanity, Mask of Dispel, we got a Chain Destruction and a left leg of the Forbidden One, and of course the promo. Pretty amazing tin, to be honest. I mean, just really good pulls for what you should expect from a tin. Usually in these tins, if you guys saw, have seen my video where I opened up all the 2003 tins, you can check that out. The foils were, I mean, we just had no luck with foils, so it's just so tough to pull them. Pulling three in one tin is super good. Two is already really good, so pulling three is awesome. So I'm really happy for Luna that she did well here. Also, I'm probably going to be streaming Duelist of the Roses soon, possibly on YouTube, probably on Twitch. I'm not sure. So if you haven't followed me on Twitch, check me out on Twitch. Follow me there. We're going to be streaming that. It's going to be pretty awesome. I've never played that game, but a lot of you guys on Twitter were telling me I should do it. So if you're not following me on Twitter and you want to get some input on what I should do on Twitch, we should on YouTube, make sure you go follow me there. Ruxin34 is my name on both of those platforms. And that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Dark Empathy. Oh. Elemental Hero. Dark Bright. Boom. Oh! <laughs>